All right, so I'm on the way to the University of Lethbridge to pick up a rattlesnake on the sixth level, north end of University Hall, where there's a, a kind of a patio that the last couple of years anyway, uh, some of the snakes have been using. I think they're probably using it as a rookery uh, because at least these rattlesnakes here, they like to find a flat rock that they can get under. Um, to use as a rookery and in the last summer we picked up two snakes there and there was another one that that uh, got away from us um, this may be that one or this could be another snake entirely but certainly that patio there um, there's a there's a lot of little uh, ground squirrel holes going under there and the snakes just seem to really like that area. They probably have been using it as a rookery for years and not been uh, too noticeable. So anyway, I'm headed over there. Um, they actually have phoned in the snake a couple of times this season. But every time we got there, the snake was already gone under the uh, patio or down at one of, it, one of the uh, ground squirrel holes. So hopefully today it's still there when I get there. There is a security guard that's supposed to be on site watching. Yeah, it doesn't couldn't surprise me. You're gonna have to keep an hey eye there. out over here, hey? Hello? Hey. No, uh, come down the first entrance to the university and go all the way down to that one. You can stand here. Just come to the lot L, the other loop. Like the first one, so just go down all the way. Okay, bye bye. Feisty little critter. <laughs> this one's not too bad. No, it's not funny. not an old old timer. <laughs> Maybe by. I wish they'd let us scoop them in, but. Let you uh, what? I wish they'd let us scoop them. But... Oh yeah. I've Should... already caught. I've already caught two this week. <laughs> I'm at the den site. There's actually a couple of snakes over here. I can see them not too far away here. I don't know if either one of them is uh, Rupert, who was the rattlesnake that uh, we took care of last summer. Try to get a look at them over here. Yeah, there's at least two snakes over here. One of them is very small, it's like a neonate actually wouldn't wouldn't really be a neonate per se because um, it was born last year for sure cute little guy there's another kind of a larger snake sitting here A little bit larger. Anyway, I've got to do the uh, release of this snake and take its picture. So, I'm being very careful here because if there's these young ones around, I don't want to. Uh, tagged by any of them.
here is not, of course, happy to be in the bucket looking for. There we go. Get him to really stretch out a bit. Show me his uh, designs. He's maybe three years old, I would say. And not very happy, not very happy at all about being in this bucket. Come on, come on, come on, run out. Run down, run down this way. Uh, he's just right by the, right by the camera, I'm trying to get him to go into the hole. He doesn't know it's there. There he goes. He's sliding down now. So since I'm already here, I might as well try to get a photograph of at least the larger snake over here so I can uh, get its back patterns. Let's see if I've seen it at this den before. Going under. Or no, it's coming out toward the den. Here we go. Here we go. Come on out. Alright, that's all I wanted to see. bother with the really really tiny one but I'll check the uh, these two against my identity database <laughs> 